Hello and welcome back to Jotun. We're done killing all these giant assholes. They're actually not assholes. Most of them. This guy is an asshole. This guy can go asshole himself. But the rest, we're kind of fine. And that's my... That's why I'm a bit confused. I'm wondering the whole recommended order thing that the game seems to have where it points you in a direction. I am not sure how that worked, but I might try that out for the second playthrough where obviously you do Jera first and then I believe it pointed down here second, which I guess kind of kind of works, but not really. This one is the uh, the Dwarf City and Yggdrasil's Roots. Which both stages, I think, were sort of harder than the ice stages. The ice stages were extremely easy. Just, there was nothing to them, really, except this one. And that wasn't really all that hard. And then the boss was just pathetic compared to the gladiator. Sure, I I beat the gladiator chick. I never rem blah, remember her name. But I beat her first try as well. But I think... Oh, and he's not called Ymir, he's called Ys or whatever. He was way easier. E easier. Ha <laughs> ha. Than the gladiator. And then I would say Hagalas was next, and then the fucking fire dude. The fire dude is just insane. I have no idea how I'm gonna do like the no no damage achievement or no power achievement on this guy. God, that's gonna be hard. I don't know, might look up some some help, some info, some walkthroughs, or whatever. But yeah, time to go visit Odin and see what he wants, and... I don't know, are we gonna fight him? Is he gonna just welcome us with open arms? I would be very, very surprised if there wasn't a giant boss fight at the end. But we'll see. Oh. Oh! Credits. Can I... Look at them, not really. Can't destroy them. I would try using the Mjolnir and smashing one, but I don't think it's it's gonna do anything. This might not be the, the cast, it might be Kickstarter backers above a certain threshold or something like that. Was this game kick kickstartered? I don't remember. Maybe it was uh like Indiegogo. As I said. Earlier, I do believe that there was some sort of crowdfunding, maybe. Oh, that's clever. This is clever. So this guy didn't, like, want his face portrayed. He was, like, a backer. Yeah, and this guy, too. They were backers, probably, of a certain threshold, but they didn't want to send in a picture to, like, have their face modeled. So they just said... Or so the devs just like cut off their heads as if the statue is decaying or whatever. That's kind of clever. Alright. So now... Very dramatic. Hi. Yeah, that's probably Odin. Oh, is it? Has it been Odin talking to us all this time? Sem gaf þér annað tækifæri þar er blóð fólks flæðir um æðar þínar. Láttu þessa miklu gjöf aðstóða þig í loka bardaga þínum þar sem ég, alfaðirinn, mun vera loka óvinur þinn. Alright. Búðu þig undir bardaga Þóra. I'm not sure how to prepare myself. Ekki mistakast að ávinna þér hilli góðana. I'm probably gonna fail to impress the gods at least a few times. So what happens if you use his own spear against him? Like, I mean, the power. Oh, and he has, like, multiple health bars. Oh, dear. No, wait, does he? 
I thought he did. Maybe it's just a separate color. Whoa, close one. Once again, I'm gonna attempt to not use any powers to begin with. Holy shit! Ah, oh, damn. I I couldn't avoid the first one, but I should have shielded for the second one. Okay, the dash doesn't do damage, at least. That's good. And he seems to always toss the spears in the same trajectory, so I should just try- oh god. I should just not stay there. Like, now he's gonna toss it up and to the right. Holy crap! God damn it. Up and to the right? Nope! Okay, never mind. Theory failed. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know how to- Fucking god! I don't know how to avoid these! They're insane! I guess you just have to dodge at the very last second. In either direction. Oh god, that's scary. That is so scary. Ow, that was bad. Oh my god, okay. Well, fuck you, spear. I just used both shields for no reason. Well, we're dying. So this was fun. That was not really what I... Oh, that can... Oh! That can guide the, the spears. That's really useful. Take this. You... You big dummy. Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, great. So he, like, fucking summons the rest of them. Wow. I hope they just last for a certain time and not forever until you kill them, because holy crap, that's gonna be annoying. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, good. He doesn't go through the monologue every single time. That would have been kind of annoying. Yeah, he doesn't toss it the same way every time. Ah, oh, crap. That was my bad. I think I'm I'm dodging too late. I'm like thinking that it's really precise, but it's precise, but not that precise. Yeah. Oh. Oh, crap. Damn it. Not a good start. Holy crap. That one is scary. Alright. Good. Not good. I missed. Okay. Fuck. That's when you should shield. Because there, I couldn't avoid them even if I did time them right. And here we go. Oh my god, this is unfair! Okay, he doesn't summon them forever, it's just for one attack. I, again, should shield. I am so bad at shielding. Just need to get better at that. Oh, and I just rolled into that. And I'm just dead. Okay, well, whatever. Let's try it again. I just need to not suck. And maybe I should just use powers, like, right away. Because I can actually get the powers off. 
here early in the fight, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Oh, fuck. Come back here. Probably can't get a second one in. Nope. I'm gonna wait. Good. Not good. Fuck. Alright. Ow! Couldn't really do much about that one. Oh, that was probably a bit of a waste. I thought I was... I thought I was down more health than I was. Fuck! I had to cancel it. Got one off, at least. Aw, oh, crap. Oh shit, I did not even pay attention to the, the dude. Okay, just did that because I didn't think I would evade it, which I probably wouldn't. Okay, alright. Sure. Oh god. Oh man, okay, I thought I had to do it earlier when I had the speed boost, but maybe I have to do it later. Holy crap. Holy crap. What? 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 I guess... I guess that's what I'm saving my fucking shields for. Holy crap. What? That's insane. Alright, well, I guess you have the shield powers for a reason. Does seem like it's a decent idea to, like try and use these powers right away, though, in my opinion. Ah. That's bad, though. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that, either. Wait, does this work? Oh, it does work! Interesting! I should probably do that! I didn't even realize you could, like, combine Speed and Thor. Whoops, shouldn't have done it, or used it there. Yeah, that's the strat. That's the fucking way to get insane DPS. You can hit the spears? Hold on, I need to try that. Uh, oh, that was so close. It's really hard to switch to the right power in time. He doesn't have a lot of health left now. Yeah, that goes for the power instead, that's very good. And it hit him, good, good. Okay, here we go. Shield time. Yep. 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 Probably a good idea. Probably a good... Ow. Idea. Ooh. Ow. No. No, 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 no. Maybe even using a decoy there, so that everything jumps to the decoy instead of me. That might be a plan. Oh, man, I'm... yeah. Can't avoid that. Oh, what? Wait. Did he get hit by... those guys? I don't feel like I killed him. Did I? I have to watch that back. Man, that was very close, though. I had one heal left. Oh, hi. Are you... What are you? Valkyries? No. They don't look like Valkyries. Alright, just a sec.
I can't hit them. All right, well, let's let's go. Grants, you did it. This looks like a movie trailer. So there we go. Jotun, the game. Well, as I started talking about, was it two episodes ago? One episode ago? I don't remember. I like this game a lot. I really do. But there are problems with it. And I personally feel like it would have been nice if the, the levels were a bit longer and had more stuff in them. Most of them you just sort of walk through. And there's not really anything there at all. There's no real puzzles or anything. Like, take the swamp one. You could think that, oh, the swamp one, there's going to be, like, puzzles where you, you have to, like, send a boat across and then take the, the, some, something back, like, a, another boat back to get another boat to the spot that the first boat had in order to go to, like, a second or a third place. And, you know, it, it could have had a lot of stuff and confuse, confusion and, like, secret islands and whatnot, but instead it was very, very straightforward, not really any branches whatsoever, and that's kind of the same with all of them. The Yggdrasil's roots, sure, you had to find the right route to get to the power and stuff, but it wasn't really all that complicated. It was, there was never more than like three different paths, and they all sort of like grouped up and it wasn't really all that hard to get where you wanted to, and you didn't have to think about it too much, and... Yeah, it just goes on like that for pretty much all the stages. Holy crap, this music is fucking loud as shit. Okay, never mind. Thanks! Thanks, music. I appreciate it. But, uh... Also, like, Joe... Or, what was it called? Jormungandr's... Whatever. I'm not gonna pronounce it correctly. The, the lake? That could have been really interesting. As I said, there could have been some... What the fuck was up with the the animal footprints? They were at the boss too, Ys, but he never used any animals. He didn't have animal footprints. What was the point? What was the animal? What was the, the footprints? What were they supposed to symbolize? I don't know. But I would have wanted it to be like a thing where Jormungandr just fucking burst out of the ice if you try to come near the rune. And then you have to go this elaborate path following the footprints of the animal and then you get to the rune and you see like the nest of a, a snow fox or whatever they, they were a bit bigger than that but you know like seeing that an animal had actually gotten past this this beast or whatever and had a reliable blind spot or something and you had to follow that that would have been kind of interesting to figure out but instead it's just like nothing you just run out to the lake and, and get the rune it takes like two minutes I don't know, but beyond that, as I said, I really like the game. I I don't think there's like a hard mode or anything like that, but that would be really cool if they actually had like a hard mode where the stages were a little bit revamped, had a few more enemies, had a few more things in them, and then the, the main thing would be that the Jotun would have a different attack or two and have like four times the fucking health or something like that. Just that would be kind of fun, and maybe you could have twice the amount of powers, just to make it interesting. I don't know. Something like that would be cool, because, like, when you beat these guys, there's not really any reason to ever come back. Sure, I'm gonna get the achievements, but that's about it, really. Would have been nice if there were, like, more... If there was more flexibility in the things that you could do, and the different methods you could use to take down the Jotun, and... Maybe if, like, the order you took them down in actually made 
a difference, you know, like fucking Mega Man, where you get a power and then you can use that power to kill the next Mega Man, and if you do it right, then you can, like, get their weakness and take it to the next one and so on. That creates a lot of variety in Mega Man, and you can try, like, so many different routes and see how easy the stages and the bosses are when you have a separate or a different, a specific power, or if you don't, you know, that kind of thing. That would have been, been nice. So, this is kind of like my assessment of Bastion. I have the same thought about Bastion. I think Bastion is a good game. I think this is a good game. I think what is here is all good, with some exceptions, like mass amounts of RNG in certain boss fight fights, like the fucking lava dude, hate him. But beyond that, it's really good, but I feel like it's a bit too safe. Like, it didn't try to do enough, in my opinion. But, I don't know, maybe I'm just being being picky or whatever. I really like the game, the fucking art style is gorgeous, and the, the music was really nice. The sort of atmosphere, great. I really like the, the combat and the movement system, where you can cancel anything into a role. It's great, I love that kind of system and the attacks felt like they had weight to them, and, you know, you had to... You had to be mindful of your positioning more than anything. It wasn't about doing super amazing combos or anything like that, so... I really enjoyed that, and the powers were all cool. They all had very good uses, but I'm terrible at using them correctly. But yeah, that's, that's probably about it. We'll see if my... If I start hating this game once I start doing the achievements, because some of them is, are probably going to be very hard. But, yeah, that's my assessment, I suppose. Thank you again very much, Thunder Lotus, for actually giving me this copy for free when I just said, Hey, I'm a sucky little YouTuber. Can I have free games? And they were like, sure. So that's that's awesome. I'm very thankful for that. I, I'm happy that I got to play this game. And I really enjoyed it, and I think this series has been fun to make. I'm, I'm talking as if I'm stopping it. I'm not, but, you know, it's like unofficially over now. Actually, it's officially over now, but then unofficially I'm gonna keep going and doing achievements and stuff. But you might not be interested in that. If you just wanted to see the, the game and the story, then Kickstarter! I, I knew it! It was Kickstarter. Then you could leave after this episode, but otherwise we're gonna do try to do a bunch of random stuff. Impress the gods! I have impressed the gods, and hopefully, I have impressed you! Ha! Huh. Well, I thought the credits would end, but they're kind of going on longer than expected. I'm out of things to say. Ah, they should have timed it, like, fade to black or cut to black, when the, the drum, like, boom, and then it cuts to black, and it's like, oh my god, so dramatic. But yeah, there we go. I'm gonna leave it there for this episode. Series is done, sort of. I mean, the, the playthrough is done, but we're gonna do a bunch of crazy nonsense. Hopefully, I'm gonna attempt it later on, and... I guess there's no point in me doing a new game right away, because I might just save my backups, like I'll I'll save the backup files so I can jump back into this game, but then I want to just do a run through without fighting any Jotun and just seeing what happens. Probably nothing, I think you have to fight them all eventually, but because they don't, because they let you return without fighting the giant. I'm a bit suspicious, like, what happens, so I'm gonna try that probably next time, and then after that I'll re... Hopefully I can reuse my backups, I think I can, I've been backing up the save files, but I haven't actually tried, like, using a, an old backup, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Worst case scenario, I guess I'll have to replay the game from scratch, which would be kind of bad, because to, to get the achievements for never taking any hits or never using any... Actually, I could use the do the never using any magic on all the boss fights. 
that would be a possibility if things go to shit, but hopefully they don't. So, hope you enjoyed the series up until now, hope you continue watching, but if you don't, thank you very much, and if you do, thank you very much, and yeah, I'll see you next time, maybe, or in another game. Your choice, not mine. I'll be here. Bye-bye. <laughs>